Okay, this is a teaching sorbet. The beads are nice and big, so it should be easy to follow along the manipulations as we perform multiplication on the sorbet. So recall that our first example, number one, was two digit times one digit, 21 times seven. So two digit times one digit, that's a total of three digits, so we have to start here. If this is our ones, we have ones, tens, hundreds. We have to start in the hundreds position. And we start with two times seven, two times seven is 14, so we have a one and a four. And then we have to multiply the one times seven. Then so we start here, one times seven is seven, so zero, seven, so a five and a two. And our answer is 147, which is what we got with number one. So that was relatively simple. Let's take a look at example number two. A little bit more difficult. Number two, 357 times 82. 357 times 82, that's a three digit times two digit. So a total of five digits. So we start here and move over five digits, one, two, three, four, five. Here now, we'll start here in the 10 thousands position and we'll multiply everything by eight. So three times eight is 24, two, four, 24. And now here we do five times eight. Five times eight is 40, so add four and zero. Do nothing here. And then the last one is 8 times 7, 8 times 7 is 56, so add a 5 and add a 6. So we've taken care of the 8s. Now we have to multiply by 2. Now remember we started here with multiplying by 8, now we move to here and we start here with multiplying by 2. So we have 3 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, so 0, do nothing, and 6. We'll add 6 to here, so add 10 and take away five and then add one, that's adding six. And now here we have five times two, five times two is 10, so one and zero, do nothing. And then the last one, seven times two is 14, so one and four. And then we've added the 14. So now we've got the answer two, nine, two, seven, four, which is what we got before, 29274. 29,274. So that's example two, a little bit more complicated. And let's take a look at our third example, three digit by three digit. So our third example, 546 times 918. Three digit times three digits, that's a total of six digits, so we have to move over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We gotta start here, and we multiply by the nine. So five times nine is 45. Four and a five. Now, four times nine is 36, so three and six. And then nine times six is 54, so we have to add a five here. So five and four, 54. That's taking care of the nine. Now, we've got to take care of the one. We started here with the nine, now we start here with the one. So five times nine, or sorry, five times one is five, so zero, five. Four times one is four, zero, four. So do that. And then six times one, zero, six. Okay, so we were here for the nine, here for the one. Now we start here for the eight. Multiply everything by eight. Five times eight is 40. So I have to add four here and zero here. So if I add four here, I need a 10. I don't have any tens here, so I gotta add a 10 here, zero this out, and then zero that out. So I added a four here and a zero here. Now I got four times eight. Four times eight is 32. 32, so I add a three here. So I add 10, take away seven, and then add a two here. I added 32. And then the last one is six times eight. 
6 times 8 is 48, so add a 4 here and an 8 here. Add a 4, so add 10, take away 6, and then add 8. So our final answer is 5, 0, 1, 2, 2, 8. Which is what we got. 5, 0, 1, 2, 2, 8. 501,228. And that is how you add using, or sorry, not add, that is how you multiply using the solar band.